Bile is really important for a lot of functions in the body, especially with the digestive process, but there's other functions that it's important with as well. And there's a lot of things in our life that can thicken up that bile and keep it from flowing correctly, resulting in all this trouble. But there are signs that you can see where trouble is coming before you might have to be like, ah, man, I got to get my gallbladder yanked out. So if you can keep an eye out for those signs, you might be able to take steps to improve the situation if things are going in the wrong direction. And one of those big biggest signs is a light colored stool. All the cool kids are stool gazers. They're looking at their poop to see what's going on in their body. And if that stool comes out a lighter color than like corrugated cardboard, that's a sign that bile is not flowing a well. Bile is this dark green color. And when it mixes with everything else that we're eating and all of our digestive juices, it should turn that stool into a dark brown color. So when the stool is light, there's usually not enough bile flowing to change that color. So that can be an important thing to keep an eye on. And that's free. You just look in the toilet. There it is. Another big sign is nausea, especially chronic nausea. And especially if that nausea is really magnified when you consume fats. Bile is what helps us emulsify or break down our dietary fats so that the body can use those. And when those fats can't be broken down properly, then now they become rancid and they're toxic and they're just like, hey. and so they can create a lot of nausea and discomfort in the body. So if a person's having a lot of nausea, that can be a possible sign of poor bile flow. Another issue with nausea is that the liver filters out a lot of the junk from the body and puts that into our bile so that when the bile is going through the digestive tract, it's carrying those toxins with it so the toxins can go out the back door when we poop like a champion. So if bile's not flowing well, those toxins won't leave and now the system gets a lot more toxic and then the body can't get rid of all this junk and the person's going to feel a little bit lousy and just have that nausea kind of thing going on. Another possible sign is a saliva pH below 6.5. And a lot of the pH gurus are going to tell you that, oh, you're too acidic if your saliva pH is too low. But that's not an accurate statement. We talk about that in a lot of other videos. But that low saliva pH can be an indication of an overly toxic system, which is usually the case because bio doesn't have the ability to take out the trash. So if you want to understand these signs a little bit more, along with others that you can keep an eye on, we'll put a link in the description of this video for our full video on 10 signs of poor bile flow. And if a lot of these signs are showing up for you, we'll also put a link to our video for five steps to improve bile flow. I hope that helps.